Good afternoon, everybody. This is Heather slash Hetty from Twitterland. Um, most will know me from Alive and Me. Uh, this is also can be geared towards my epilepsy cures, of course. And it always winds up on Facebook and my epilepsy cure site as well. Um, I'm just in awe <laughs> and great thanks to every single one of you. The ones I know directly, the ones I don't even know. Um, I'm just, I'm so in awe of just how Jesus works through every single one of you. And just, you guys' hearts just explode, you know, with his love. And how much that absolutely worked wonders through the absolute surgery that, you know, I did get through. And I just wanted to just let you all know, and I know that I have, but I wanted to let you all know again that it's more than appreciated and loved. It's, you know, obviously going to be in my heart for the rest of my life. And when we do see each other one day in heaven, if we don't see each other before, I definitely, you'll be seeing me face to face and we'll be talking about it <laughs> in heaven. So I, I just really needed to let you know that too. Today was a pretty cool day. Um... You know, because you probably, for the most part, all know, you know, for months prior, I hadn't been feeling well, um, not just because of seizures, but because of the medication, you know, I've been on, you know, to calm the seizures down, not perfect it, but calm, and 32 pills a day will make you exhausted, so, you know, my days were pretty much getting to that point of, like, just, you know, doing nothing, and so any form of walk or you know, function without just being from a door to a car to the car door to another door. <laughs> that was my, that was my exercise. So my friend and I, actually, she helped me find Jesus when I went to the church that I go to today. That I found Jesus back in 2003. I just chose her out of the bunch, and um, she actually had surgery done on her arm <laughs> the day before I had my brain surgery, and um, it's just ironic. <laughs> Oh, God works wonders. And so we decided today, because she's off too, we decided that we'd walk all the way. It's it's, it's one mile, point three, <laughs> to go to Paradise Bakery and sit and just eat and talk. And wow. <laughs> number one, I didn't wear tennis shoes. But um, number two, it's it's when you haven't done it in that long, it's kind of a ways to go both ways. <laughs> So we were just joking the whole way back. I'm like, I wonder who's going to take me. Anyway, but it was great. You know, God obviously saw us through it. <laughs> it was just a lot of fun. So, and it, it's healthy, you know. I got to get the blood flow going. Um, so, and she does too. And so it was good. It was really good. But I just wanted to thank you all. And for those who haven't heard, um, the second, the actual surgical part was phenomenal. It was out of this world, and I love it. Um, it was just really neat because I had my friend that was sitting there. Just we were talking about four, four hours or so. Speaking of the devil, and um, yeah, it was Jamie Beals, and we were sitting there. We were just just talking about life, talking about this, talking about Jesus all the time, about you know things going on in life and what we you know thinking about doing you know for him. And especially when I get well, and um, then my you know neurosurgeon walks in, and she's not used to anything like that, and she gets the lowdown of what my neurosurgeon, in a very very you know serious mode, decides to say. And so I you know I felt for her because you know I can take it because I know him too well, and I already knew awake brain surgery was coming, and I was ready for it in 2005. Um, but here we are, 2010, and I was ready, and he, you know, he presented it, like, three times, and then he saw I didn't, you know, he, I didn't budge once, and he's just like, sign this, and I'll see you in the morning, and the morning was great, you know, I was all excited, it was fun, it, my husband was very nervous, and so that's where I thank you all so much for your prayers for him as well, um, you will never understand how much that helped him, and that's, at Flying Christian. <laughs> He's just so much better now. He's so calm. <laughs> and so that helps so much. And um, 
but he, uh, you know, that was that was nerve wracking for him. I didn't even tell my parents, you know, that that's what was going on because my parents would have lost their marbles. Um, but I went in awake, and the um, only part that they put me semi asleep for was to open my head and to close it back up. Otherwise, I was awake during it all so that they could talk to me and have me read and see what areas, deep, deep, deep hot spot areas were ones that they could touch, that they could truly take out without causing any damage that would be really, really significantly needed. And it was just remarkable. And, you know, I'm sitting here just trying to crack jokes during it all. And, you know, he came up behind me, like turns my head and he's like, you're still dry humor, Heather. I'm like, you're my Uncle Zimmerman. <laughs> it was fabulous. It was really good. So you got to just, you got to work through Jesus. You got to just bring the good in, in with the harder stuff. And I can't sit here and say it's for everybody because I know so many nervous people that just get nervous being presented with having just normal surgery when you're put under anesthesia. So, um, you know, it's not for everybody. I wish it could be because it definitely does show the in-depth ability of what can be and cannot be taken out. Um, if I could share that ability now with everybody, I wish I had that power. Um, but I have the power of prayer, so if anyone ever needs that, let me know. But I am back to pray. Um, I'm resting more. I'm not on Twitter as much right now. I will be back. Um, but just know, just DM me or you know, just reply to me some prayers. Um, and I will be praying. Um, I just I am resting more right now for a change um, due to some head pain <laughs> and just you know gathering of friends and family. So, but other than that, I just I love to hear your prayers. I love to be able to pray for you because even before this, I've already already seen how much he works. You know, through one prayer, you know he hears it, but he loves to see it when everyone's praying from east to west nonstop. You know, there's nothing in between us that keeps us from praying, you know, as a big family to him. So I thank you, each and every one of you. And just to give you a quick last glimpse for anyone who hasn't seen, you know, this is a, how it looks. So um, I think I'll probably have to get a head buzz, except for maybe the back of my hair. <laughs> So I can curl it underneath and wear hats for the summer until it all begins to grow and then I'll just make it snap. <laughs> so be looking for me in hats, of course, as I used to always be. <laughs> but until then, um, uh, it's a little swollen, so I might not have them on all the time. But it's kind of fun, you know, with the staples to just crack jokes with you guys. Um, just know he, we're always beautiful in his eyes and you guys are all beautiful always. So inside and out. And I love you all dearly and many blessings and many thank yous once again for everything that you've done for us. And just know that we're here for you as well. Me, alive in me, and my husband at Flying Christian. And we love you all so dearly. God bless and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend to come.